Welcome to this video on binary algebraic structures and isomorphism. In this video, we will start by understanding what a binary operation is and then move on to understanding what binary algebraic structures are. We will then explore isomorphisms. Without further ado, let's get started. In mathematics, a binary operation is an operation that combines two elements of a set to produce another element of the same set. The most common binary operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. For example, if we take the set of integers, the addition of two integers is also an integer, which means it satisfies the closure property. More precisely, a binary operation asterisk on a set S is a function mapping S by S into S. That is, for each ordered pair a, b in s by s, the element produced, a asterisk b, is itself in s. By that definition, then, the operation is closed because the result of performing the operation asterisk on a pair of elements of s is again an element of s. That is what we mean by closed. It's referred to as the closure property. For all a, b in s, we also have a asterisk b in S. That is, the result must belong to the same set. Now, what do we mean by the asterisk in the definition of the binary operation? You can't consider the asterisk a placeholder for one of the more familiar binary operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, etc. For example, if we take the set of integers, we can define a binary operation of addition denoted by the plus sign. If we take two integers, say three and five, and apply the binary operation of addition to them, we get the single output value eight, also in the set of integers. This means that three plus five equals eight, where three and five are the input values and eight is the output value. Or we can provide the binary operation asterisk a custom meaning. For example, let a asterisk b mean the greater value between a and b or the value that is common if a equals b. For example, 3 asterisk 5 equals 5 because 5 is greater than 3. 11 asterisk 4 equals 11 because 11 is greater than 4. And 5 asterisk 5 equals 5 because in this case a equals b, etc. So long as the operation is binary that is being performed on two elements and is closed, the binary operation can be anything. So what's a binary algebraic structure? A binary algebraic structure consists of a set S and a binary operation asterisk on that set denoted by the notation S asterisk. So say we have the binary structure R plus. This means that R, the set of real numbers, is the set and plus is the operation on that set. Now, why is this concept of a structure important? Consider the following three tables. Take a look at table two. If you notice, it's pretty much the same table as table one, with the exception of the values. We replaced every instance of one by alpha, every occurrence of two by gamma, and every three by beta. And thus we established a one-to-one -one correspondence where every alpha is mapped to one, beta is mapped to three, and gamma is mapped to two. And in fact, the only difference in the two tables are the symbols, and hence they are structurally alike. Now, consider the third table for the binary operation heart. Since the body of the table only contains the single number three, it is structurally different from the other two tables. And in this sense, this is one example of what we mean by structure. Finally, two functions that are structurally alike are said to be isomorphic, which brings us to the definition of isomorphism. Let S asterisk and T star be binary algebraic structures as we just defined. An isomorphism of S with T is a bijective function phi, that is, it is a one-to-one -one function mapping S onto T such that phi of A asterisk B equals phi of A star phi of B, for all a, b, and s. If this map phi exists, then the sets s and t are isomorphic binary structures. We call this equation the homomorphism property. Thus, if we have a bijective homomorphism, it is called an isomorphism. 
Essentially, isomorphism is a way of comparing two binary algebraic structures to determine if they are structurally the same or not. Now, how do we show that two binary structures are isomorphic? Assuming we have a function phi, we first want to show that phi is a one-to-one -one correspondence, that is, bijective. This involves showing that it is a one-to-one -one function and onto t. To show that phi is a one-to-one -one function, we need to show that 5a equals 5b in t, and then from there, show that a equals b in s. Next, to show that phi is onto t, suppose that t is an element of t, and show that there exists an s in s such that phi of s equals t. The order of showing that it is one-to-one -one and onto is unimportant, so whether we first want to show it's onto and then one-to-one -one is okay. Finally, we need to show it's homomorphic, namely that phi of a asterisk b equals phi of a star phi of b for all a, b, and s. Basically, we compute both sides of the equation and see if they are equal. Let's consider the following example. Say we have the binary structures q plus and q plus, where phi of x equals x over 2 for x and q. Are they isomorphic? Let's first begin with proving it's surjective, that is, onto Q. Suppose for all Y in Q, there exists an X in Q, such that X equals 2Y implies 5 of X equals 1 half times X, which equals 1 half times 2Y, which equals Y. Since 5 of X equals Y, we have shown it's surjective. Next, we show it's injective, i.e. 1 to 1. Suppose for all X1, X2 in Q, we have phi of X1, equals phi of x2. Then 1 half times x1 equals 1 half times x2 implies that x1 equals x2, thus showing that it's injective. Finally, we need to show that the homomorphic property holds. Suppose for all x1, x2, and q, we have phi of x1 plus x2 equals 1 half times x1 plus x2, which equals 1 half times x1 plus 1 half times x2, which equals phi of x1 plus phi of x2. Thus, we have shown that the homomorphic property holds, and therefore the two structures q plus and q plus are isomorphic. To make things clearer, here's another example. Let's say we have the following binary structure, r plus and r plus dot. Also say phi of r equals one half raised to the power of r for r and r. Are these two binary structures isomorphic? As before, let's first show it's surjective. Suppose for all y in r plus, there exists an x in r, such that x equals negative log base two of y implies that phi of x equals one half to the power of x equals one half to the power of negative log base two of y, which equals two log base two of y, which equals y by the logarithm property. Since phi of x equals y, we have shown it's surjective. Now we show that it's injective. Suppose for all x1, x2, and r, we have phi of x1 equals phi of x2. Then 1 half raised to the power of x1 equals 1 half to the power of x2 implies that x1 equals x2, hence it's injective. Finally, we need to show that the homomorphic property holds. Suppose for all x1, x2, and r, we have phi of x1 plus x2 equals one half to the power of x1 plus x2 equals one half to the power of x1 times one half raised to the power of x2 equals phi of x1 times phi of x2. Thus, we have shown that the homomorphic property holds, and therefore the two structures r plus and r plus dot are isomorphic. Finally, let's talk about how we can show that two binary algebraic structures are not isomorphic. To do this would mean that there is no bijective function from S to T, with the homomorphic property holding for all elements in S. However, if there are bijective functions from S to T, then one way to show that S asterisk and T star are not isomorphic is by showing that one of them possesses a structural property that the other does not possess. And what we mean by structural property is a property of the binary structure that must be shared by any isomorphic structure. For example, cardinality and commutativity are structural properties 
whereas the operation type or types of elements are not. For example, the binary structures Q plus and R plus are not isomorphic because they have different cardinalities. While Q shares the same cardinality as Z, which we call a left knot, R has a different cardinality. Say we have the binary structures Z plus and Q plus. Are they isomorphic? Though Z and Q share the same cardinality, there is no solution for X plus X equals one under Z. That is the solution set is empty because there isn't a single integer when added together that would give us one. However, if we examine the solution set of this equation under Q, we see the solution set in Q is simply one half. Therefore, they are structurally different and by the definition of isomorphism, Z plus and Q plus are not isomorphic. To recap, a binary operation is an operation that combines two elements of a set to produce another element of the same set. A binary algebraic structure is a set that has a binary operation defined on it. Isomorphism is a way of comparing two binary structures to determine if they are alike or not. And if we want to show that two binary structures are isomorphic, we need to demonstrate that there is a bijective function between them and that the homomorphism property is satisfied. And to show that they are not isomorphic, we need to demonstrate that they are somehow structurally different or not bijective. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you understand these important concepts in abstract algebra. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe for more math related content. Until next time, guys, take care.